Hey guys, Axe here from Gamers Armory. Today we're going to be looking at doing a tutorial, again for the piston doors, but this time with a little bit different design and a new circuit underneath, which we will go over shortly. And as requested by Ramintout, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, sorry if I'm not, but uh, they asked if we could have the door set up with a button that opens and closes them rather than levers and as you can see that can most definitely be done I haven't tidied this one up because I was um, you know well aware that I was going to be destroying this and rebuilding it for the tutorial uh, a few other things quickly guys before we get started uh, I'd like to thank everyone who supported me because I've just reached my first little tiny milestone with YouTube and now I can do videos longer than 15 minutes so that's going to help us out significantly today because I'm sure this is going to take me a lot longer than 15 minutes to show you guys how the um, T flip flop works with in conjunction with the buttons that control the piston doors but uh, I'll try and do annotations or something that will allow you to skip to the different parts of the video that are going to be a little bit more interesting for you uh, yeah but other than that guys we can sort of get into it the what basically what you're going to need i'm going to start off by doing the top section first and the the top section is obviously the piston doors themselves for that you need roughly 64 blocks of whatever building material you want i think it works out to be exactly 63 ish um you will need five or six repeaters depending on how you do the redstone you will need 12 sticky pistons, six for each side, uh, and you need roughly about 32 pieces of redstone. That's just off the top of my head. I didn't go through and add it up exactly. Uh, the bottom section I'll do separately once we get to that stage. But uh, yeah, so what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm just going to now clear out all that, get my platform back, and then we can. Uh, well, actually, I'll probably build another platform somewhere else and then we'll get into it. I'll be right back. All right, here we go, guys. This is the construction steps involved in doing the uh, actual piston door setup. So, obviously, we just do a little bit of a frame and we need to bring it out a little bit. Oops. Like so. shape now this one like I said is going to be a little bit different compared to the last one so that's the frame there if you guys uh, want a screenshot uh, or sorry pause the video there I should say and um, you know build that first little bit that's what we need now I'm just going to chuck in our pistons and we definitely need all six You'll see how they work. If you haven't already watched my other tutorial, it will become fairly obvious how they will work very, very soon. So now we're just going to put a roof on. Uh, and we can probably chuck the blocks in here, although it doesn't really matter what stage you do them. If you want to um, get the rest of it working before you do that, that's fine. So next we're going to grab some repeaters and just face them at the pistons like so. Now, if you guys watch Doc M77, he's awesome dude. Does he has a fantastic YouTube channel uh, if you're into Minecraft stuff, and uh, he do, he did a door design very similar to what I'm doing here. So now we just chuck redstone behind the two repeaters, and now we just need to build a little bit around the back. So we've got something to run our wiring up essentially that's how we want it we just i go one over one extra block over just because i would prefer the redstone signal to not be interfering with the pistons or anything to that effect you guys might be able to knock one of these blocks out if you wish but this is the way i like doing it once we get to the center you do need definitely to do a redstone circuit like so 
and for sake of simplicity we're going to run it down the other side um, okay I forgot just one more here we're just going to chuck in a, red, uh, a repeater and this repeater absolutely needs to be on the fourth tick the other two the ones that face the pistons they just stay in their default state which is a single tick now I already know that roughly my signal will come through the ground roughly here on this block. I'll probably need to do a couple more blocks over, but uh, we want it compact, so I just want another repeater there. Actually, no, I'm going to move that over. Repeater there, redstone there. And again, that goes on the fourth tick. All right, so I'm just going to go and stand around one side. There we go. So you can basically see all those two repeaters on the first tick. Wiring goes up and over. The repeater on the fourth tick up the top. And it, make sure you get it on the right side, okay? If the if the signal from our RS null latch is coming up from the ground this side, then you come run, do the four redstone pieces there, and then after that you do the repeater. It, didn't, it doesn't matter what spot, essentially, well, those two spots, it could, it could be either of them, but um, I think that's just easy to remember if you just have it there. And that's all there is to it. Now we will do another step down here, and I will want, want another block on top of this, just so the signals don't cross over. Okay. So yeah, that block is there on purpose so that the two signals don't overcross. We want this cable to be completely free of any, any interference from this redstone circuit here. And we'll just write down there. So like I said, we know our input's gonna come up from the ground on this side, and that's about as hard as that. It's not, not difficult at all. All right, guys, I'm just gonna extend this platform a little bit, and then I'll be right back. All right, guys, now that we've got everything in place, I guess we want to make sure that our door is definitely working for the top section before we go and start getting all bogged down in the circuitry underneath. So I've just run the leads out a little bit just so I could chuck a redstone torch down. And now we'll go around and have a look. And as you can see, perfect, exactly what we want. And we need to make sure it works in the opposite direction. And again, absolutely perfect. So it's really nice and easy. There's nothing spectacularly hard about this design. So now that we've made sure that's definitely all working, we can jump down below and get into the T flip flop design. Uh, and I guess I'll be back in a jiffy. All right, guys, we're going to build the T flip flop and all credit goes to Minecraft Addict. He does amazing tutorials on Redstone. Uh, so yeah, all you need to do is build a sort of uh, lightning bolt shape, I don't know, whatever you want to call it, two, and then across one, and then up one. So pretty easy to remember. And then we're going to put a repeater here on the third tick. That is extremely important to remember. We're going to put redstone there. We're going to put redstone up on that block there. We are going to put a redstone torch underneath there and one there oops sorry that one's got to go like that my bad and then we put a piston on top of it like so now we will put a block in front of the piston another one on the side there and for the sake of testing we're just going to put a button on here but we'll move that later on into the final position and the output comes from this side over yonder. So let's just make sure it's doing its job. Oops, have I got the tick set up incorrectly? No. Oop, I'm crazy, I forgot a forgot a redstone torch. Right there. My bad. Okay, so there we go. Alright, so you'll see that that cable is off. I'm just gonna go to sleep real quick and then we'll come back and <laughs> actually be able to see it properly but yeah definitely check out minecraft addicts channel guys if you're ever not sure on 
any redstone stuff in particular, he's almost got everything covered, so yeah. All right, so that's on now. Basically, we push the button once and that is staying on. We push it again and it is now off. So that is, that is exactly what we need to make this setup work so that when we punch buttons, the doors will shut, punch it again, they'll open and so on and so forth. So yeah, now I'm just going to uh, get ready to run some redstone cable basically up to the, up to where we need it to go. I'm just going to put some blocks in position and so on and so forth. So what we need to check now guys is we know our inputs this block here, we can pull this button off uh, and we know this is the output over here. So what I need to do is just walk back up the top. This is where we want our signal to come, right there basically. Uh, and so I'm digging straight through a hole so that I know where I'm going essentially. Now I'm just putting a block here and a redstone torch. Now the signal, we don't need to stress too much about the signal being inverted or anything to that effect because essentially it doesn't matter. As long as one state, when you press a button, it changes states, it doesn't really matter. So I'm not going to set up any signal inverters or anything like that. That's fine as is. We do need to sort out cabling for the input on this block here. Now, obviously we know we want a button on this side here, which is going to be fairly easy, basically straight up there. The other one's gonna be a little bit further away, uh, which, and we do need to power this block. So look, I maybe cheat a little bit. I'm sure there's better ways of doing this, but I just put a repeater there because the repeater will power the block itself. If I run cable, sometimes it'll interfere with circuits. The repeaters are a bit more of a direct way of making sure that the signal goes exactly where I want it to go. All right, so I need to just think a little bit about where I want this. I think, uh, yeah, if I put the, I've put a button there. Yeah, we can hide the redstone by cutting out this section here. And then, where is it? Running. Let's just cut these out of the way, guys, and then we can uh, put them back when we're done. And one down there. Okay. You could run. You can. It's important for me to point out, I guess, that you could run this redstone circuit down to this part here any way you wanted. If you didn't want the button right there, that's no problem. I'm sure you guys already know enough about how redstone works to uh, to move that button any way you want. Beautiful. Okay, the doors weren't meant to open, obviously, so don't worry. I mean, yeah, so let's do the uh, uh, button around the back. Actually, let's just set up so that button works for a start, and then we can do the other button. So I'm just gonna dump a square back in there, put the redstone back. Pretty much that should be working, I think. Oopsie daisy, we got a bit of an issue. Okay, I know what the problem was, I always forget. This repeater here was like that, and that's the one that pushes the power into this block. Always forget, with the monostable circuits, it needs to be on the fourth tick. Um, otherwise, the signal going into that block is not long enough. It's too short, and it doesn't do its job properly. So, sorry about that, guys. That is on the fourth tick now. And now we have a perfectly working button piston door. Now, the only thing left to do is we need one on the other side, and... There's probably not too much explaining I need to do, but uh, nevertheless, let's have a look. Uh, I'm just going to set up a little walkway so I can sort of see where I want to go. Uh, and actually, while we're here, let's just put these blocks back in and tidy this up. So that'll be the end result. Uh, I guess uh, you might have a wall. Oh, it doesn't matter, we can probably just do it straight here. So I'll just chuck that down. Let's make sure it doesn't interfere with any of the pistons. Nope. Um, dig both of those. I'm just digging those out for the sake of simplicity, guys. You don't need to if you can do it a little bit better than I can. Two, three, across. Nope, probably don't need that many. Don't worry, you can ignore me. 
I'm just jibber jabbering for this last little bit. Okay, straight up over there, and now we just have to cover it up. Dum -dum. Yay! Okay, beautiful. Nice, that was pretty easy. I mean, yeah, there's a little bit of redstone circuitry to be done, but uh, yeah, the step up to the buttons, piece of cake. I'm sure you guys can run the buttons whenever you want. Very, very easy. Um, the T flip flop, really, really tiny compact design. You could really miniaturize this whole thing and gives you a lot of room. So I think that's about as easy as I can do for you guys to make a piston door. So yeah, as uh, as I said, thank you very much to Ramantout for requesting the tut tutorial. And as always guys, have fun. Please leave me comments if you like the videos. And I'll do one final cut after I've made this all pretty so you can see how the finished result might look. See you guys. Here's the finished product guys, I haven't bothered to cover in the ground, but you can see, it's a pretty well hidden door. So yeah, I hope you guys were happy with that. If you are, please remember to hit that like button and show me the love. Uh, and if you want to see more of these sort of things, then hit the subscribe, and I will definitely try and to do my best to answer any requests you might have for tutorials. Thanks again guys, see you soon.